actually helped with the coding like he said he would, okay? I made that from scratch. That was not easy to do. Anyways, Dazzle trying to push up. Trying to throw his own gimmicks in here, and he gets Whoa. three kills and a fourth as well. Well done by him, and takes the SGs out of their hands, basically, just off of that play. That's exactly what you don't want to see when you're Detona and you invest in SGs. Oh, my oh my God. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that ready for the, uh, the game fuel. Fala galera, antes de começar esse vídeo, eu tô aqui no começo só para apresentar vocês o Ice Cute, que é um antivírus, vírus clean e remove vírus, galera. Esse aplicativo aqui, galera, é muito bom para você que tem Android aí, quer tirar seu vírus, quer dar um boost nos games, então é esse aplicativo, galera. Que o Ice Cute, ele tem o vírus clean, galera, que vai escanear todos os vírus e tirar todos os vírus que tem no seu celular aí. Tem o Safe Browse que você vai navegar para qualquer lugar e ele não vai deixar você pegar qualquer tipo de vírus. Tem a mensagem de Quidditch quando você estiver jogando o seu jogo aí de celular ou assistindo um vídeo e não quer ser atrapalhado. Tem esse daí também. E também tem o Smart App Lock, galera. Muito bom, muito bom. Indico bastante que é colocar a senha em todos os aplicativos. Então você vai emprestar aquele seu celular para alguém e não quer que a pessoa entre no seu WhatsApp, no seu Facebook. Vai ter que colocar a senha do celular para entrar no aplicativo também, galera. Então, Wi-Fi Security também e o Game Boost, que é muito bom para você jogar aí qualquer tipo de jogo. Minecraft, você é Free Fire, qualquer tipo de jogo de celular. Você vai dar aquele boost e não vai travar mais o celular. Então, primeiro link na descrição. Bora pro vídeo. Well, the, now, now the bomb's been dropped. One minute on the clock, two versus two. VSM has a Krieg. Christmas has come very early indeed. Lucalzi holding an angle, waiting from construction. Searson's surely doomed here. In the smoke, actually. Rumor has it. You'll see uh, more vision in the smoke than people looking into the smoke as it dissipates. But there's a the clutch from VSM. The first round on the board from the Tona. A surprising one. Early problems for Big. Maybe they'll start to have nightmares from Dark. It's exactly the type of move you need to make when you're down a man trying to hold off a retake. We'll see if they're gonna expect it. Or if they even need it. OC gets himself two quick kills. BSM will expect Shonic there. And he'll get third. So BSM getting four kills. Detona gonna be tying things up at three. This is why we're kind of questioning why was Tiburcio opting instead of VSM I, yeah, I mean, I inside the ladder room, but oh my goodness, PRT did not pick on, on Dapper. Somehow, some way, he gets a freebie, and now both CTs are locked over towards Z. One is boosted, though, catches Dapper a bit off guard. It's given a little bit of a chance here for Daytona. VSM's gonna keep it going with that frag as well, all on Seb now, with no health. Two players to find with only 17 seconds left to do it. He's given his position up now. He's not going to expect BSM to be boosted up. And BSM will get his fourth kill of the round. Put Daytona now on to four rounds in total. Nice kill from Luke. An important one of that. He has had a great map so far. He's got support from Miami. Can't stand up. Otherwise, he'll get shot in the head by his own teammate. Well, he gets one in the face anyway. But Mayan looking to hold this down. A second, a third from him. Another big play. The youngster is phenomenal. 29 and 14 to completely. I think so. Anyways, we see Envy go for a quick rush in towards the inner site. The nade comes through and just. Oh, that's just a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to add that one up. VSM just waiting with his M4, and he should be able to mow down the majority of that V as he gets himself a quick odd kill. Yep. And the Cavs is gonna close it out. So Daytona already able to get four of the five rounds they were able to accumulate on CT side of train yesterday. Question for me is can they continue this pace? Yeah, not sure. I'm to the team as they get the bomb down with a few seconds left and Ryan. That's a nice shot at least. Okay, he might have a chance here. Why are they all facing him? Don't give this man the battles. What is going on? The T side have just turned a 4v1 into a 1v1. They've left VSM. Some will say that he is the team sometimes as he has to try and clutch this out. Mayan, the youngster, trying to take this away. And he's going to succeed. The one versus four. Massive mistakes from Detona. But Sharks are going to steal one away. and well he's gonna have a lot of pressure on him here already dinked up has some support available from exit although his teammates got a nice shot to at least keep the man advantage going and does a little bit of extra damage vsm getting aggressive trying to take the fight versus these remaining ct players and at least buy some time for the bomb to go down he's gonna need to be careful though he is the one pushed up and if he falls he's gonna advantage back to side of sharks but he gets the first of the help and actually Seems like the Tona, without actually VSM getting too many kills, is going to be able to close this one out. Lukowski able to get himself a triple. We don't even need to talk about it. I think everybody knows that PP buys him and any other gun is better than P90. Here we go. VSM in the corner. He's going to be kicking things off. In fact, he sprays down three. 
This time, it doesn't matter what guns they bought, they've been punished. Luka needs this kill if he gets it, they have a chance, but VSM just solo shutting down this site. I don't know if GNT one. Now they have to get these kills as they run onto the site. VSM, he does some damage, but he's not going to be able to, but the bomb's dropped. That could be everything. Exit's only got 10 seconds. He can't waste the time, and he has to peek into that AWP. Good work from Lukowski to hold off that cross. And the T side money. Early nades on Banana. Will not be good enough to deny Imperial's aggression. Showtime sitting in the smoke. Walks into the spray of Hardzell. Big Uzera. Playing an aggressive position. Showtime manages to pick up that kill on the aggression there. Del Bonnie using the SG he recovered. All of a sudden, Imperial find all the kills they need. Hardzell trying to save this round and he's already got two of his own. Bomb dropped in an awkward position, but Del Bonnie's got the Molotov. Trying to keep himself safe enough to get the bomb back. He should have this recovered. Del Bonnie holding. Oh, goes back for the fight and makes sure to win the round for his team with a quad kill. With the pistol. Reminder, it did seem that Boom did win the pistol here on this map. Unfortunately, we missed the opening couple of rounds. But I believe they won that pistol, lost against the force buy, and then went down two to one. Or three to one, I believe, then before actually coming back in. But look at this. Perfect flash. They're all just lining it up for PRT. It's too easy. He, he couldn't have asked for an easier time right there on Ivy. I believe it was TRK who threw that flash in as well. Absolutely perfect. He brings it up to the quad kill in the end as well and gets a bit of help by Pesa. Probably not going to be able to do too much more in this round. One bullet would finish him off, obviously. But here we go. Push finally going to be coming in towards B. There was no smoke towards Connector, so it did give a bit of a chance for the TRK to try and get some frags. He wasn't successful. But another man with three letters in his name is. It's PRT. Oh, my God. Rex a third with the Deagle. Suddenly it's a 2v2, but he is still low. One bullet to the body going to be enough to finish him off. Yell coming in with the Glock eventually successful. Red Cannons have got plenty of guns at spawn, so they will switch out for the other rifles. Nithon has been able to get a pick at mid. Ooh, nice kill from Nithon again. The orb just finding fights. W7M offering themselves up at range against the sniper, which is never a good idea. Nithon picks up a quad kid. have got a good idea. This is going to be an A play. The scout shot lands. Nicely done by Nithon. But now his teammates are not in the best positions. Lato gets another great kill with the scout. Further damage. He almost got the kill on the cross there. Bomb being planted. The jump scout trying to come through. He lands a shot again. There's the kill. And Lato brings it back to the 1v1. Somehow Lato gets the shot through the smoke. That is unbelievable. Lato making magic happen with the scout. And Red Canids are not down and out of this game just yet. 3v3, but he gets caught in transition, trying to fall back up the ramp. The SG is lost. Now it's just two pistol players remaining. They can't recover the guns that have been dropped. Nithon just holds the angle to make sure there's no way that gun will be recovered. Skulls is stuck on the bomb train. Good shot onto the first man. Here's the steps of destiny in the back lines. Destiny pushes him. Oh, Skulls somehow gets a wallbang headshot, but not the follow-up. Nithon rushes him down with the USP. For a second there, I thought Skull... That leaves us in a 5v5 retake. The CT's coming in from short. Lato gets the opening kill. This should be a bloodbath. Kills going back and forth. Skulls trying to trade his teammate, but he's only got four bullets left. Skulls gets the quick headshot. That's what he needed to bring it back to the 1v1. And Destiny decides to get aggressive. He wants to hunt this down. He doesn't want to give Skulls the opportunity, but Skulls gets back to safety. Skulls makes it. So I guess his goal is going to be to, if they do push forward, just try and get even one kill and preferably stay alive so that they can keep an advantage for the retake. And 
that's probably what he's going to get the chance to do. You do see eventually that push beginning to come out towards B and Lado. Doing a good job of just moving back from angle to angle. Got that first uh, headshot quite quickly from behind the brown train, I believe it was. Then transition back, gets himself another headshot and is just picking them all, all off one by one at this point. And should get Lynx as well, who is completely unexpected of it. Didn't think that he could.